Welcome to ASFOB Tutoring. In this video, we will go over 15 questions on physical science for the AFOQT test. To practice more, download the AFOQT tutoring from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Question 1. The tendency of a material to oppose the flow of electrons is known as resistance which is measured in a. Amperes b. Volts c. Watts d. Ohms The answer is d. Resistance is a property of a material that opposes the flow of electrical current or electrons through it. It is measured in ohms, a unit named after George Simon Ohm. Question 2. Frictional forces usually a. Oppose motion b. Increase potential energy c. Oppose gravity d. Increase kinetic energy The answer is a. Frictional forces act in the opposite direction of an object's motion, resisting its movement. This opposition occurs when two surfaces come into contact, and the microscopic irregularities on each surface interact. Friction converts kinetic energy into heat, thereby slowing down or stopping the moving object. It plays a crucial role in everyday activities, such as walking or driving, by providing necessary traction. Question 3. Friction depends on a. The nature of two surfaces with relative motion. b. The area of surfaces with relative motion. c. The weight of an object on a surface. d. None of the above. The answer is a. Friction depends on the characteristics of the surfaces in contact, such as their roughness or smoothness. Rough surfaces generally create more friction, while smoother surfaces create less. The type of materials involved also affects friction, as different materials interact differently at a microscopic level. The frictional force is independent of the area of contact but is influenced by the surface textures. Question 4. What property of waves makes objects appear larger that a microscope makes use of? A. Diffraction b. Refraction c. Reflection d. Polarization The answer is b. Refraction is the bending of light as it passes from one medium to another with a different density, such as from air into glass. Microscopes use lenses that refract light to focus and magnify the image of small objects. By bending the light rays, lenses can bring them together to form a larger, clearer image, allowing the observer to see fine details. Question 5. When an object is sliding down an inclined surface, it experiences all of the following forces except a. Friction b. Weight c. Normal reaction d. Buoyant The answer is d. When an object slides down an inclined surface, it experiences forces such as friction, opposing motion, weight, acting downward due to gravity, and normal reaction, perpendicular to the surface. However, buoyant force is not involved in this scenario. Buoyant force is the upward force exerted by a fluid on an object submerged in it, and is not relevant to objects on solid surfaces. Question 6. Which type of energy is stored in a compressed spring? A. Electric potential energy. B. Elastic potential energy. C. Chemical potential energy. D. Gravitational potential energy. The answer is B. Elastic potential energy is the energy stored in a material or object when it is deformed, such as in a compressed or stretched spring. This energy is due to the deformation of the object and is recoverable when the object returns to its original shape. Question 7. Which one of the following cannot stop beta radiation? A. A plank of wood. B. A sheet of paper. C. A sheet of aluminum. D. A sheet of iron. The answer is B. Beta radiation consists of high-energy, fast-moving electrons or positrons, which can penetrate materials more easily than alpha particles. A sheet of paper is insufficient to stop beta radiation. Instead, beta particles require denser materials like a plank of wood, a sheet of aluminum, or a sheet of iron to be effectively blocked or significantly reduced in intensity. Question 8. Which of the following forces is not acting on a flying object? 
A. Weight. B. Lift. C. Drag. D. Normal reaction. The answer is D. A normal reaction force is the perpendicular force exerted by a surface to support the weight of an object resting on it. Since a flying object is not in contact with a surface, it does not experience a normal reaction force. Instead, it experiences weight, due to gravity, lift, opposing gravity, and drag, opposing forward motion. Question 9. What is the unit of energy? A. Watts. B. Kilograms. C. Joules. D. Newtons. The answer is C. The joule, symbol J, is the standard unit of energy in the international system of units. It is defined as the amount of energy transferred when a force of 1 newton is applied over a distance of 1 meter. Question 10. The ability of an object to do work is called a work done. B. Power. C. Energy. D. Pressure. The answer is C. Energy is defined as the ability of an object to do work. It exists in various forms, such as kinetic, potential, thermal, and chemical energy, and can be transferred or converted from one form to another. The concept of energy is fundamental in physics, as it explains how and why objects move, change states, and perform work. Question 11. If two positive charges are placed at a distance of 100 centimeters from each other, what will happen when they are released? A. They move toward each other. B. They move away from each other. C. They will show no action. D. They may move in any direction. The answer is B. Two positive charges repel each other due to the electrostatic force of repulsion. When placed at a distance and then released, they will move away from each other because like charges exert a repulsive force on one another, causing them to accelerate in opposite directions. This behavior is governed by Coulomb's law, which describes the force between charged particles. Question 12. Which force makes electrons orbit around the nucleus? A. Strong nuclear force. B. Weak nuclear force. C. Gravity. D. Electromagnetic force. The answer is D. The electromagnetic force is responsible for the attraction between the negatively charged electrons and the positively charged nucleus. This force keeps the electrons in orbit around the nucleus. The strong nuclear force, while crucial for binding protons and neutrons together in the nucleus, does not affect the electrons' orbits. Question 13. Which of these interactions is involved in radioactive decay? A. Strong nuclear interaction. B. Weak nuclear interaction. C. Electromagnetic interaction. D. Photon interaction. The answer is B. Radioactive decay, particularly beta decay, is governed by the weak nuclear interaction. This interaction allows for the transformation of a neutron into a proton or vice versa, emitting beta particles, which are electrons or positrons, and neutrinos in the process. The weak interaction is responsible for changing the type of particle in the nucleus, leading to radioactive decay. Question 14. Which one of the following is not true? A. Weight is the attraction force between the Earth and a mass. B. Mass and weight have exactly the same value. C. The weight of a fixed mass has a different value on different planets. D. Gravitational acceleration does not depend on the mass of an object. The answer is B. Mass and weight are different physical quantities. Mass is a measure of the amount of matter in an object and remains constant regardless of location. Weight, however, is the force exerted by gravity on that mass and varies depending on the gravitational field strength. For example, an object weighs less on the moon than on Earth due to the moon's weaker gravity, but its mass remains the same. Question 15. Valence electrons are responsible for current because they a. are negatively charged. B. Are free to move through the conductor. C. Are outnumbered. D. Can exchange charge to nearby electrons. The answer is B. Valence electrons are the outermost electrons in an atom and are not tightly bound to the nucleus. 
In a conductor, such as metal, these valence electrons are free to move throughout the material. This movement of free electrons constitutes an electric current when a potential difference or voltage is applied. To practice more, download the AFOQT tutoring from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.